All right, in this video, we're going to talk about rational functions uh, and specifically the types of discontinuities that they can have. And uh, we're going to start out by looking at a graph here. So here's a, uh, well, it's not really a typical rational function, but it's got all the properties we need. And in this picture, um, these vertical dotted lines here are the vertical asymptotes. And uh, this little circle here um, is a removable discontinuity. So vertical asymptotes are also called infinite discontinuities. Um, removable discontinuities are also called holes. So they both have a, kind of a common name uh, and then a, a name as far as being a discontinuity. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, the kind of conditions under which you will uh, find these things for a rational function. So a vertical asymptote, which again is an infinite discontinuity. So um, if the uh, degree of the factor and the factor would be x minus a, so you might see x minus 3, x minus 5, it might be to the 7th power, to the 3rd power, whatever. If the degree of the factor x minus a is greater in the denominator, so it's got to be greater in the denominator than it is in the numerator, then as long as that's happening, um, x equals a is going to be a vertical asymptote for that function. Okay, so we have that, and uh, remember, the vertical asymptotes are also called infinite discontinuities. And uh, they're, kind of, they're called that because uh, the y values shoot up or shoot down to negative, positive or negative infinity. Um, so infinity is involved, that's why infinite. And uh, we have this other thing uh, called a hole, which we could also call a removable discontinuity. And to get a removable discontinuity, uh, the conditions are, are kind of the opposite. So if the degree of a factor, and the factor again is going to be x minus a, um, we'll do an example or two later, so you'll see what that means. Um, if the degree of the factor x minus a in the denominator is less than or equal to the degree in the numerator, uh, then the function is going to have a hole at x equals a. So uh, for a vertical asymptote, we need the degree in the denominator to be uh, greater than, strictly greater than. And then if the factor shows up in the numerator and the denominator. If it's not greater in the denominator, then you're going to end up with a hole. So um, if it's less than or equal to the degree of the numerator, you're going to get a hole or removal discontinuity. Um, all right, so let's take a look at some examples. So let's say we have this very complicated function. So this is given to you in factored form. If it wasn't, I don't think you'd ever get there. I don't think I would. Uh, so we want to investigate each of the factors of the denominator and compare them to uh, what shows up in the numerator. So to start with, uh, we look at the x minus 3 factor. So you can see in the denominator, it's to the third. And in the numerator, it's to the second. So it's a higher degree in the denominator than it is in the numerator. So that's how you're going to get a vertical asymptote. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. And uh, then we move on to the next one. So the next one is uh, the x plus 2 factor in the denominator. So in the denominator, uh, there's no exponent shown. And that just means it's to the first. Um, and in the numerator, it's to the fourth. So it's higher in the numerator than it is in the denominator, which means that we are going to get a hole at that value. So it's going to have a hole at x equals negative 2. And then x plus 6 is all by itself. Uh, there's nothing in the numerator to even try to cancel it out. So that's going to be a vertical asymptote. All right, so that's one example. Let's take a look at another one. Again, I'm giving them in factored form uh, kind of for two reasons. It's just generally easier to do. Plus, if you're not very good at factoring, uh, you would have trouble getting to this point. Uh, anybody would have trouble getting to this point for these types of functions, but in general, you'd have a little difficulty. Uh, so again, we find the first factor, which is x plus 1. It's equal, so the degree is equal in the numerator and the denominator. Um, that's the condition where you get a hole. So a hole or a removable discontinuity at x equals negative 1. Um, we look at 2x minus 3. So it's squared in the denominator, it's to the first in the numerator, so higher in the denominator than the numerator, vertical asymptote. So it's going to be at 3 halves. And then we move on to x minus 4, which is all by itself, there's nothing to cancel it out, so vertical asymptote. Alright, so that's how we can kind of examine it once we have it in factored form. Getting to factored form is a big deal if it's not given to you that way. Um, one thing I thought you might be curious about is... Uh, how do you find the coordinates of the hole? So a hole in the graph is, it, literally, there should have been a point there, but there wasn't. So we just kind of illustrate it with a, a cir an open circle. Um, so you follow these three steps. So you kind of make a note of the x-coordinate of the hole, which we did in the previous two problems. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to algebraically simplify 
the function. And then you're going to substitute in the x coordinate from the whole because when you simplified, you removed the discontinuity. That's why it's called a removable discontinuity. Um, so let's take a look. We have this problem. So y equals, and then we have x plus 3 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 5. So we do what we did before. We look at the uh, factors. You can see the x minus 2 in the numerator and denominator to the same power. So there's going to be a hole there. So there's a hole at x equals 2. So now what we do is we simplify this function. So we're going to write y equals, it's going to be x plus 3 over x plus 5. But you have to write down only if x is not 2, right? Because in the original, you couldn't have 2. So when you simplify it, you still can't have 2, even though you removed that. Okay, so this new function, we're not allowed to plug in x equals 2. But, I mean, if we did plug in x equals 2, we would get 2 plus 3 over 2 plus 5, or 5 over 7. That's what it should be when x equals 2, right? And the value that it should be when x equals 2 is the y-coordinate of the whole. So the coordinate of the whole is x equals 2 and y equals 5, 7. So that's the ordered pair. You would go to that point on your graph and put an open circle to get a whole. All right, so um, that's a little bit about discontinuities in rational functions, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.